Hello everyone, Namaste and welcome to my channel Emmanuel Arts. I am your crafty host Priyanka and I know I have been away for a very long time. I think it's almost two months that I have posted a video. I am really sorry about that. I know you guys have been waiting for me to post a DIY or something. But I had been really busy with work and um, I, I, I was transi transitioning from night shift to day shift. So it was a little bit hard on me to get into routine and then set my son's routine too. So, but again, here I am. So uh, I'm here with something different today. We're going to see how to organize your dining table for a small party or you have a couple of guests over. And then I will show you how to make the DIY centerpiece that I have uh, made. Uh, I have used for organizing my table so yeah that's about it today we are going to do really something very simple and I'll keep it on budget I think everything all together I think you can uh, arrange the whole table for six in about uh, $50 I think less than $50 but I would um, say $50 around $50 so let's head over to my dining table and see um, how, how I've organized my table also as usual all the materials will be in the description below and and then if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed already please do hit that red subscribe button and i'm sure you will never be disappointed i have a ton of diy crafty videos and a ton will be coming more or in soon in the future so do hit that subscribe button and thank you again to those subscribers who keep coming back to watch my videos so now let's head over to my dining table and see how I've organized it. Okay ladies and gentlemen, here's my dining table and uh, let's see how I have arranged it. So the first thing I have done is I have put on this red um, tablecloth and I found it at Walmart on clearance. So it is really cheap. It was $7. Then I laid down my table runner. I found this also at Dollar Tree then on each near each chair i have a mat that i found at dollar tree it is their summer theme i think it's called the aloha theme so i found the mat it's a round mat you can definitely go ahead and put this rectangle mat i have a plate also found at dollar tree and um, i want you to see the beautiful design i really love it it's so pretty and i love the indian style that indian look that it has then I have a bowl on top of it, which also is at Dollar Tree. Like I mentioned, everything I found at Dollar Tree and everything is on budget. Now here I have a glass, definitely again from Dollar Tree. And then I have a spoon on the right hand side and the fork on the left hand side um, to and the, uh, bring it all together. Definitely um, I have used these I already had them in, at home and I'm definitely using the ones that I have at home. Also, uh, that's what I have done for each uh, chair. My table here is not a formal dining table. It is um, a foldable table that people usually use at uh, uh, for the outside outdoor parties. But because I'm living in a rental apartment, I did not want to buy a formal dining table. And it will definitely look better on a formal uh, dining table. And here's the centerpiece that we are going to make today. And this is how it looks from the top. And from the side. Okay, and this is how it looks like. And here are my other chairs. So I have always gone ahead and arrange exactly the same for each chair uh, i am not an expert or organization of organization person of the table uh, so i don't know if it's okay for the uh, table mat to go on the table runner or not but that's how i did it and that's how i prefer you can definitely leave me a comment below and see say what exactly is the correct way to put it on the table so i might be able to change my outlook so this is how it looks like and it looks like and um, let's go ahead on the crafting table and let's get making our centerpiece uh, that's right here it's really simple and easy so let's go ahead uh, at our crafting table and i'll see you there to begin making our centerpiece first i'm going to take two candle holders 
I found them at Dollar Tree. So what we're going to do is we are going to apply E6000 on the back of both of them and then stick them on top of each other. Apply a generous coat of E6000 um, so that it sticks firmly and it stays there for a long period of time. And then okay and here I have uh, stuck both of them and them together now I'm going to put it aside and we'll move ahead and let this piece dry I'm taking a square candle holder I also found this at Dollar Tree so and we are going to make a bead soup I have uh, put all the colors of blue because they match my crockery also uh, you can find all these beads at Dollar Tree so definitely it's on your budget nothing outside and nothing expensive so I've mixed a few colors of beads and um, the tubes with uh, in between tubes there now again Take your E6000, E6, make sure that the candle holder does not have any dust. Take your E6000 and apply it on one edge. Do not apply everywhere or else it will dry by the time you reach there. So just one edge. And then take some of the beads and start pouring on top of the E6000. Then you can take a toothpick and just spread them around. So the E6000 will spread all over the edge and it will the beads will stick to them. I'm going to leave the ones that have fallen outside and I'm going to pick them up later on. For now I'm just going to take some new from the bowl itself. And you can always bring the ones that are on the glass towards the E6000 and um, arrange them. Make sure that uh, it covers the whole of it and there are no spaces in between. And it's good about the one thing that is good about E6000 is that it takes a little bit of time to dry. So you can you have uh, some time to maneuver the beads around and which makes it easier for you to adjust where you want which bead. I've gone ahead and done all four sides I have only done the edges of the uh, the holder and not like come inside of it I'm going to let this dry for like for some time I have finished all four sides and now I'm going to set it aside to dry for some time and then do the next step on it meanwhile we will go ahead and see how I made the succulent terrarium I found this succulents these are really cute the even the pot is made of ceramic and it is really really cute I found them at my 99 cent store uh, usually people do have uh, do find them at Dollar Tree I have seen a couple of videos where people have found them at Dollar Tree but my Dollar Tree didn't carry but I was lucky enough that the 99 cent store had 
the last two or three remaining so I grabbed them before anybody else did so now for my succulent I'm just going for my terrarium I'm just going to remove these from the pots and I'm not going to throw away my pots I'm going to use them for some other projects so do subscribe to my channel to keep in uh, to uh, to know how I use these pots for my further further projects so I'm going to keep these pots aside I found this bowl at Dollar Tree. It's a cute fish, it looking fish bowl and I really love it. And also I found this pebbles or marble chips at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the whole bag and pour, pour them into the bowl. It is really easy to make a cute and simple terrarium at home at a very low cost. So here I have poured the whole bag of uh, pebbles into the bowl. I'm just going to give it a shake so they lay flat and properly into the bowl. Now I'm going to arrange these succulents into the bowl and, and just arrange it according to how you like it. I'm just going to push them down. You can definitely go ahead and cut the stem of these succulent to make it stay completely inside but I just want it to come out a little bit from the bowl so I'm just leaving it out. Then I'm going to take this other one and push it inside. So make sure that everything is straight. And you can give the stones a little bit of shape and this is how my terrarium looks like. So it's that simple to make a simple cute succulent terrarium. Now we will set this aside and I will go back to my candle holder. The next step for this candle holder is to take some flatbed pearls or rhinestones. I have these at home if you do not find them at Dollar Tree or 99 cents. You can definitely go ahead and use the flatbed uh, clear rhinestones that you can find at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to have some of them out on the table and take my E6000 again and a toothpick and then just apply E6000 on next to the border of the bead soup that we have applied. And then I'm going to dip the edge of the um, toothpick on in a little bit of um, E6000 and then grab the bead with it and place it on top of the E6000. I'm using these colors because they match my crockery. Uh, you can obviously go ahead and use the colors that match your crockery. Uh, I use the green in the succulents just because my crockery has some green and a lot of blue. So I made the candle holders blue. So here I have completed one edge. I'm going to go ahead and complete all three sides and come back uh, to show you the finished look. 
here I have completed adding the pearls on all four sides and um, while you're making this candle holder you will definitely have some um, spots that, where the glass becomes dirty you can just use a baby wipe or rubbing alcohol to clean clean it up so the next step is now these two candle holders that we had attached together they are stuck uh, together and the uh, e6000 has dried up i'm going to take more e6000 and apply on top of the on top of the candle holder apply generously okay so that the, the mirror will be properly um, stuck on top of the candle holder and yes my son is growing up so he's making more noise because he can talk he feels like he can talk a lot so well he's turning seven months tomorrow so now carefully place it on the center of the Holder. So here, I think it is properly in the center. I'll just pick it up and look if it is in the center or not. Okay, so now it's in the center, and uh, I'm definitely going to let it dry. Um, for the best results i would suggest that you let it dry overnight so that it is firmly stuck so here is one candle stand holder and then i've made a similar one but the uh, candle holder is hexagon and i have used the taller candle holder that you also find at dollar tree and even the uh, i think this is octagon uh, octagon mirror uh, also at the at Dollar Tree. So here's I have done the designing exactly the same. Nothing is different. Use the same materials for it, and this is how it is. And you can arrange it however you like. So and then I'm going to use two tower tea light candles. And let me just turn on the lights and place them on top of the candle holder. And this is how it looks like. Uh, this is as simple as it can get. Nothing complicated. Really simple and really on budget. Everything that I have used can be found at Dollar Tree. And you can definitely substitute some items if you don't find them uh, at Dollar Tree. Like uh, these pearls that I had already had at home. I use them. But you can use anything that you have at home. Or find something at Dollar Tree that you can substitute for it. So guys everything is very simple and easy to make i hope you enjoyed it hey everyone so i'm back again after the diy i hope you enjoyed it and i know i hope you liked it and it's really simple and anybody can do it obviously you can throw in your imaginations and let your creativity flow with all the colors and all the shades that you can get your hands on so it's nothing limited as I always say that your creativity and your imagination is what uh, this DIY that I always make is for uh, your imagination to open up and you try different things. So I hope you really, really go ahead and try different things. And if you do uh, make the uh, centerpiece like the one I have, do um, post them on um, on Instagram under hashtag Emmanuel Arts and I will definitely check them out. Um, thank you so much again for coming back all my subscribers again and again and if you haven't subscribed already as I've mentioned please hit that uh, subscribe button and you will never be disappointed also hit that like button and give me a leave a comment below on what I can do to improve my uh, organized table and what would you have done if you had to organize a table for your guests so do leave me a comment below and I will gladly uh, be happy to see all the beautiful comments that you leave me thank you so much for watching do share this video with your friends and family have a good night bye bye